Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to route your Sprint Galaxy Nexus. Yes, the Sprint version of the Galaxy Nexus is different, so make sure you don't do this if you have a Verizon version or a uh, GSM version. I'm sure it'll work, but I wouldn't recommend it because this is specifically for Sprint. There's easier methods out for the other two. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. First of all, you're going to need to do a few other steps and watch a couple of my other videos I've already made, actually. First of all, we're going to need to make sure we have the drivers installed on our PC. I will link to that video in the description of the video uh, of this video. And then after you have the drivers installed, we're going to need to unlock our bootloader. So I will link to a video on how to do that. Just keep in mind, unlocking your bootloader will actually wipe your phone. It'll do a factory reset. It'll also wipe the internal storage of the phone, such as your pictures, your music, etc. So make sure you have all of the, those things backed up as well. So keep that in mind when unlocking your bootloader. You need to make sure you have everything backed up. Um, anyways, my bootloader is already unlocked, so make sure you go watch those videos, uh, get the drivers installed, get the SDK set up, and then go ahead and get your bootloader unlocked. Um, and then come back to this video because obviously you need to do those before you can follow this video. So once you have all of that set up, um, what you're going to need to do first is, um, I guess you can go ahead and go ahead and pr go to settings on your phone. So we're going to need to make sure we have USB debugging enabled, so go to settings developer options and up at the top make sure you check USB debugging and hit OK. That does get unchecked after you unlock your bootloader. So we'll just need to make sure we have that checked. Next just go ahead and plug in your phone into your PC. Plug it on in. Um, should be connected as a media device so it should mount automatically because we're going to need to transfer a file on over. But once we have our phone plugged in, go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. The next link being the, the files to where the files are at. So click on that link. Clicking on the link will take you to the AC Syndicate forums. As you can see where I, hit, I have posted these files for you. As you can see, my uh, Galaxy Nexus popped up right away just because um, we're going to need to transfer a file on over and we already have it plugged in. But anyways, we're going to need to download two files, these two, the Super User Zip, which is called, not Super User Zip, it's actually called Toro SP Root Big Rush Dog Zip, and also the Twerp IMG Zip. Click on that download as well and download that. Uh, once you have both of them downloaded, we're, we're ready to go. So go ahead and go into your downloads folder. Actually, it's easiest to just go into your downloads folder. And once you go into there, you need to transfer one of these files over to your uh, storage on your Galaxy Nexus. So here are our two files we have downloaded in our downloads folder. The Twerp 212 and the Toro SP Root Tool Big Rush Dog. The one we need to transfer over to our phone is this top, the top one, the Toro, Toro SP Root Tool Big Rush Dog right here. That's one we need to transfer. As you can see, I got Galaxy Nexus showing up in the bottom left here. Just click and drag it over to your uh, Galaxy Nexus and it should transfer on over as you can see. Um, you can double check, just click on Galaxy Nexus Internal Storage and you'll see it right here. You'll see this Toro file right there. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, once done there, we're ready to go. We can go ahead and unplug our, our Nexus from our PC so we can go back to our phone. All right, so now that we're back to our phone, as I said, we can unplug it from our PC and we are just about ready to go. So what I'll recommend doing is manually going into the bootloader. So go ahead and power off your Galaxy Nexus um, because we need to obviously access that uh, twerp mm -hmm. image now. That's the second step to this process, um, of course. So now that our phone is powered off, what we're going to need to do is press and hold volume down, volume up, and power button all at the same time. Press and hold all three of them. Keep it held down, actually, and it will take us into the bootloader. Okay, so as you can see, it takes us right into the bootloader here. Uh, we are now in fast boot mode, so that's uh, pretty much it. We're ready to go there, of course. So we can actually plug our phone into our PC now that we are in fast boot mode. So go ahead and plug it on in, and we are going to need to go back to our PC because we need to get everything set up to uh, flash the files over to our phone. Okay, so once we go back into our downloads folder, we have this twerp212 image file as well. So. Um, we've got this file. Go ahead and navigate to wherever that is. Mine's in my downloads folder still. So what we're going to need to do is hold shift, right click, and hit open command window here. So click on that. It'll open up a command prompt. As you can see, it's pointed to C users Tim downloads. And all we're going to have to do is first of all make sure our PC recognizes our phone. Hit fast type fast boot devices. 
So type that in, as you can see, we got numbers here, so uh, Fastboot recognizes our device. So uh, once done there, of course, as you can see, our phone's still in Fastboot and plugged in. What we need to do is type in Fastboot Flash Recovery and then space recovery, actually not recovery, sorry. So Fastboot Flash Recovery and then the name of the file, the TWRP212. Dot IMG. So just like that, that's what it's going to look like. Flash, fast boot, flash recovery, twerp 212.img, and hit enter. So what that's going to go ahead and do is flash team win recovery, twerp recovery to your device, which is similar to Clockwork Mod for those of you that don't know. It is basically a custom recovery. Okay, so now done there, we are ready to go back to our phones actually. All right, and now we are done with the PC part, so we're done with that. So now what we're going to need to do is you can unplug your phone if you want to. It does not matter. What we're going to need to do is actually uh, use the volume keys and press the volume down button. You'll see restart bootloader. Press it again. You get recovery mode. Press it again. You got power off. Press it again. You got start. So uh, go to recovery mode. Volume keys control that. And then select the power button to select it. So select recovery mode. What that's going to go ahead and do is take us into our custom recovery. We just flashed that twerp recovery. Um, it should reboot right into it. As you can see, team win right there. Nice curtain right there. Um, but anyways, it is a basically a touch screen recovery. So you have basically all these buttons that you touch. You don't use the volume buttons and power button to navigate through. Um, so let's go ahead and run through it. Um, first of all, you got install, which is install zip. You got wipe, backup, restore mount, settings, advanced, and reboot. So what I'm going to first have you guys do is press the backup button, and we are going to want to backup uh, the system, the data, and the boot. You don't need to re backup. I wouldn't recommend backing up the recovery. Just system data boot, and then uh, you need to swipe to backup. So that is what I recommend you do um, initially. That would be the, the best option is first making an Android backup. That's actually needed at the moment since we don't have stock recovery images. So to get back to stock, you need to do this first. Let's so go ahead and swipe and then it should go ahead and run through and make an Android backup. It'll make an entire backup of your system, so it will take a bit of time. So make sure you're patient with that. What it's going to do is make a backup of the, the system that is unrooted. So it's not going to be a rooted system. So when you want to unroot your device, you need to restore this because it won't be rooted, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and let this back up. It'll take a bit of time, so be patient, and I'll be back once it's done. All right, so as you can see up at the top, it says backup complete, successful. Our backup has been made, so that is referred to as an Android backup usually. So if you hear that, you know what I'm talking about. So go ahead and hit the back button. So once we have our backup, just go ahead and hit the back arrow in the bottom right-hand corner as well. So we are ready to root now. We're not rooted yet. Um, what we did was make a, a basically a backup just to be safe in case anything goes wrong. We can restore that backup. Uh, but now what we're going to need to do is press the install button and then go ahead and find that uh, Toro SP root tool big rush dog to that zip that file we transferred on over to our phone. So we're going to need to go ahead and press that and once we press it, it is kind of finicky so make sure that you just kind of keep pressing it until it selects. Uh, once done there, we are actually ready to go. So make sure it says file to flash toro root um, tool big rush dog dot zip and swipe and it will flash it. It shouldn't take long at all. The backup will take a lot longer. So as you can see, successful, we are done. So just go ahead and hit reboot system. So once we reboot our system, we are just about ready to go. So once we reboot, uh, that'll be it really. We will be rooted. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let it boot up. I will be back. Um, the first boot up could potentially take a little bit longer than usual. So kind of be patient with that boot up, but I'll be back once it boots up. All right, so my Sprint Galaxy Nexus has just rebooted and I should have super user in my app drawer. So I'll go to it. As you can see right there, super user. So I have the super user application going on. Um, so I should be rooted to double check. I'm going to go to the root check application found in the Play Store. Just It's called the root check basic. Um, and then I'm going to hit agree. And then when I hit verify root access, it should pop up saying, do you want to allow this super user access? So there you go. Super user request. Hit allow. We are now rooted. 
uh, fully rooted. Congratulations, the device has root access on our Sprint Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Um, so there we have it. Uh, if you have any questions at all, we are now fully rooted. We do have permanent clockwork mod recovery, not clockwork mod, but permanent twerp recovery to install our ROMs and such. Uh, but yeah, that's it. If you do need to know how to uh, wireless tether um, to get free tethering, I will make a video for that. I will also do a video on um, uh, how to unroute as well. So check that out as well. Just be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.